G'day guys, we've got a trigonometric identity problem for you today where we've got to prove that 1 minus the cosine of x times 1 plus the secant of x has to equal sine of x times tan of x. Okay, so the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to rewrite the secant of x as 1 over cosine of x. So that'll make the intuition with the identity quite a lot easier to understand. So with that rewritten, it's going to look like this. Okay, cool. So what we're going to do from here, guys, is we're going to just expand the brackets. And I'm going to do that as just like your regular first inside, outside, last sort of method. Cool. So what we've got here, guys, is we can obviously see that this cosine x over cosine x is going to equal 1. And you'll see that the 1 at the front and the 1 at the back are going to cancel each other out. And I'm going to then put these on the same fraction. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to put them both over cosine of x. And what I get is I get... So my next step, guys, is I'm going to put the positive fraction at the front. And this is basically for my own comprehension. It stops me making mistakes. So it might help you guys as well. And from here, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them on the same fraction. So I'm going to put them both over cosine of x. So we're still going to have 1. But this is now going to be minus cos squared of x over cosine of x. Cool. So hopefully you guys are aware that this 1 minus cosine squared of x, like using the Pythagorean identity, is equal to sine squared of x. So we're using the identity sine squared x plus cos squared x is equal to 1. So 1 minus cos squared x will equal sine squared x. So we're going to use that to rearrange that numerator to sine squared x. And from here, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to break that sine squared x down to sine x times sine x divided by cos x. Now from here, we can see that sine x over cos x, well, that's equal to tan of x. So we can just rewrite this as equal to sine of x, tan of x. And that, guys, is equal to the right-hand side. Cool. So what I do here, guys, is first of all, I think the important things here are to rewrite sec or the secant of x as 1 over cos of x, because that'll help you understand how to do the expansion a little bit better or give you a more usable expansion. Once I did that, I basically combined my like terms or I just cancelled out my ones. From there, what I did is I put them both on the same denominator, and so that would be 1 minus cosine squared of x. And from there, I used the Pythagorean identity to get to sine squared of x. I then separated my sine squared of x into sine x times sine x. That's just, for again, for my own benefit. I was able to identify that sine x over cosine x is equal to the tangent of x. Once I'd done that, then I was able to find the right-hand side, which is sine x tan x. And then we've proved that 1 minus the cosine of x times 1 plus the secant of x is equal to sine x tan x. So I hope the video helped, guys. If it did, give it a like. Leave a comment in the description below if you've got any other problems you'd like me to help you with. But with these sort of problems, guys, it's just all about practice. You've got to practice different variations so you can sort of get the um, thought processes under control and be a lot more comfortable with um, going from identity to identity and using particular identities as like basically as tools to go through the proofs. So again, guys, subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos all the time. But until next time, just keep enjoying your maths.